Hi hey everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 6 Gathering Storm. So I skipped forward 12 turns because nothing was really happening. I finished the commercial hub right here, we got another one underway and I got a theater square under construction next to the natural wonder because that's going to be a plus 4 modifier. And other than that we just got a great general which is going to be quite helpful for our upcoming war with Mali. That will be plus 5 combat strength and a plus 1 movement to classical and medieval era land units. So that's going to be quite relevant. And the one thing I could still use is a few more melee units, but we can start upgrading the swordsmen. So let's do that. That's also some more era score. And this guy on the next turn. Yep. And I also queued up the Terracotta army because it's still available. Oh, actually I didn't. Let's do it right now. It's still available, so might as well try to build it. We can build it right here. I could even chop a forest or something. Definitely a jungle. And yeah, this volcano just keeps blowing up. It just blew up like a turn ago. I might spend 30 diplomatic favor to ask for aid. Because I can do that right now. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. The discussion will cost 30 diplomatic favor. Okay, sure, let's do it, it's fine. And I also got the Merchant Republic now. So we got a higher tier government. Here are the policies. Alright, so let's continue. I... oh yeah, I can actually sell the coffee. And I might buy a luxury. Yeah, sure, let's buy a luxury. And we can still get the money. 200 gold and a luxury. Okay, that's a pretty good deal. 280. I can't imagine he will give us much more than this. Well, oh, apparently he will. Okay, this is about as good as he's going to get. That is a really good deal. Except, obviously. And I could also sell some iron, I suppose. I don't think we'll really need it anymore. We got Niter now. So, you know what, let's sell some iron to Canada or whatever. We can sell 20. And get some gold, because we are going to need the gold. How much will he give us? 180? No. 60? Yeah. That is a pretty good deal right there. 175. Sounds good to me. So now we got 580. Yep, good enough. Let's upgrade the spearmen. I do have professional army, so there we go. And two more builds on this fella. Yeah, we'll need another builder. And then probably intelligence agency. Not just for the extra spy, but also for the governor title. I need two more governor titles to be immune to environmental damage. In our capital city, at least. But first, let's grab a builder. Right here. Alright then, so, one more upgrade, that's 115, and we are going to declare war once we get the Bombards. Preslav is up to 56, Garrison strength, it's best if we wait for the Bombards. Might as well do that. So, another trader is coming up, because the market will be done in two turns, and this trader is almost done. There's the vote. I will spend some diplomatic favor. Let's say 20. That's reasonable. Okay. Sure. It should pass. I got quite a few allies. Here, it passed. That was a lot of votes. I assume I can't send aid to myself, can I? That would be a little bit weird. No, I can't. Anyway... Let's rebuild the terrace farms. How are the yields? Yep, look at the yields. That's actually insane. 10 food, 4 production, 1 science. That's crazy. Alright then. I'm more than okay with this. Oh yeah, one more spearman upgrade. Okay, where are you going, Mali? I have no idea, but I don't like it too much. Or at all in this case. Nice archer, though. Okay, well, this will get interesting, I think. We'll see. 
Yeah, let's wait for the bombards. I'm not in a huge rush. And we can probably drag some others into this war. What the heck is he doing? Is he planning to declare war on us? It's starting to look that way, to be honest. Okay, interesting. Well then, he can't go any further. He doesn't have open borders. Anyway, let's see, what else do we need? Metal casting will be done on the next turn. I could get the unique unit, but it's not that good at this point. Oh yeah, actually, the market for the trade routes, because we are still going to need the gold. This one is done, so we can grab a trader. I still want an encampment here. That would take 14 turns. I just really don't want to build it next to the volcano, but at the same time, I don't want to build it on top of a hill, because we're better off with a terrace farm or a mine. Uh, let's grab another builder, actually. We still need quite a few improvements around here. And I still got serfdom active. And here's the trader. So where do we send that? Probably to Canada. But from a different city, perhaps? Yeah, let's do that from a different city. Like from our capital, for example. As for production... Oh yeah, another trader. Yep. And we got one more build here. So, wait, hold on. Right, repair. And then repair this one. Okay, carry on. Don't worry, the war is coming. Soon. It's definitely coming. And I got a tunnel right here, next to the capital. Wait, really? They want to give us gold? I mean... Sure? Hmm. A little bit strange, but... I'm okay with that. Don't There's banking boost. Until and we got the bombard. As well as pike and shot. And we also got geese. I, mean, I don't think I need any of these right now. No, we are fine. And there's no need to change any policies, I don't think so. I will still need a professional army, so I'm keeping that. And we need the gold, we still definitely need serfdom, so that's staying. Alright then. So, Terras Farm right here. And there it is. Look at these yields. It's just insane. Anyway, trade route to Canada. It's not going to be the best one, but... I'm obviously not sending it to Mali. I could send it to Hungary. Now, that's not a bad one, but Hungary doesn't like us too much. So I could definitely see him declaring war. Just send it to Canada. What's our alliance level with Canada? Let's see. Yeah, we are getting there. It's almost halfway to level 2. Okay. So, our next research. Let's take a look. What should we get next? Good question. Well, we could go for ballistics. Two forts in our territory. Yeah, we could do that. Maybe. I would need to get a military engineer. So, hold on. Oh, we can't even get one yet, can we? No, not yet. I think I might wait with that then. Yeah, we can wait for that boost. Meanwhile, we could get mass production. Because that leads to industrialization. And I need to know where coal is. Coal is a pretty important resource. And I'll try to get the boost for square rigging. Because we can definitely get that boost. We can also get banking, because, yeah, money. And governor title. So we need reinforced materials on Liang. We will be getting that soon. We just need one more. Let's build the intelligence agency. That will give us the governor title. Alright then. So, diplomatic service, definitely. It's already boosted, so that's nice. Yeah, what the heck is Mali doing with these units? I have no idea. But it's slightly concerning. 
So 55 gold. Yep, upgrade, obviously. Yeah, I have no clue what he's trying to do here. One more upgrade. Here, we still got 244. 15 turns to get Terracotta army. Okay. Well, there's the builder. Six builds. So first, repairs. I really want at least one bombard. How long would that take? After the market. Let's take a look. Can we even do it yet? Yeah, I would have to do it in a city with Magnus. Who is down here currently. Because he has the discount. 11 turns. I could get a catapult and then upgrade it. That would be faster, yeah. I'm pretty sure we'll need at least one bombard to really take Preslav. So you know what, let's just build a catapult. And then we can upgrade it to a bombard. That seems reasonable. House production in here? Yeah, it's kind of bad. It's not totally terrible, but it could have been better. Yeah, 15 turns for a bombard from this city. That's a little bit too much. But it should be better once we get a few mines. Oh yeah, he did declare war. I mean, I'm okay with this. This is actually better for us. Because this way, he committed 150 grievances against us. So this is definitely good news. As weird as that sounds. And we are prepared. Look at all the crossbowmen we have. He didn't even kill that one pike and shot. Okay, let's drag a few others into this war, shall we? First, renew our alliance. So, research alliance. And let's ask him to join the war immediately. So, join the war. And will he do it? Oh. Well, he won't do it without more gold. How about someone else? Let's just ask everyone. So, declare friendship. Will she do it? Let's find out. So, join ongoing war. Yeah, she won't do it. Well, unless we give her way more gold. Let's check the others. Maori, perhaps. I just want someone to join. Without having to give them too much gold. I could always give them some diplomatic favor. Which might work. But I would prefer to avoid that if possible. Yeah, okay, they are not too eager to do it. I wouldn't mind dragging Sweden into this war, though, because they do have a border. And Sweden is exactly on the opposite side of Mali. That would be a nice distraction. So, would she do it if we give her some diplomatic favor? Yeah, no, she's not going to do it, I don't think so. She's asking for too much. I guess I'll just pass it then. Let's get a military alliance, though. So, military alliance. Here. Okay, sure. We don't need help. We'll be fine on our own. Anyway, let's get started. Hopefully, we'll get the final promotions on some of these units. That would be nice. That would be the general idea. Here, plus two error score. Nice one. And then city bombardment. Can we kill this guy? I'm not sure. I don't think so, actually. Because of the hill. And we should probably back up with the pike and shot. Or pick up the promotion. Yeah, let's pick up the promotion. He should be fine. And then we can get a killing blow with the other pike and shot. Yeah, that should be fine. There it is. What else? Yeah, that archer will pretty much die. He doesn't exactly stand a chance. And then we can still attack. And we do need a kill with a musket man. For the boost. But let's not attack just yet. Hold on. I can attack this guy. And actually kill him. Yeah, sounds good. That will be our kill. 
there it is, third square rigging boost, nice one, and let's not move into Presla's bombardment range just yet, yeah, let's not do that, I'm staying inside the district for now, alright, we need to repair this, and the dots are turned on, yep, that's pretty much it, that's a lot of notifications, yeah, city-state quest complete. Yeah, some of these are kind of old. I'm just going to remove them. Here. Okay, carry on then. Now we can definitely go for Preslav. Especially since, again, he committed 150 grimances. We can just keep Preslav and nobody will care. I saw a bank that said There's banking. And what's next? Mass production, because that's required for industrialization. Okay, sounds good. So, more kills. They didn't pillage anything, did they? No, they did not. Alright, you're going down. Then the pikeman. Yep, he's definitely going down. He is dead. Nice. Now the other musketman needs to heal up. Uh, let's not move yet, because the general will be in range. Like this. Yep, he's down. Alright, now we can move into the district. To the other side with the crossbowmen. Alright, I'll try to attack the city just with crossbowmen. But I have a feeling we will need the bombards. We will almost certainly need the bombards. But it's okay. He can't attack through here. I mean, he can try, but I got the encampment district guarding that mountain pass. One more repair needed. And I'll keep the crossbowman in here, just in case we'll need him, which we might. Yep, he's sending some units. That's not really going to do much for him. And there's the vote. Okay, what do we have here? Plus 100% production towards buildings in this district. We could try industrial zone. I actually need free workshops for the boost. Okay, let's try that one. And then mercenary companies. Producing or purchasing military units using the chosen currency type is plus 100% of the cost or minus 50%. Yeah, let's pick production. Now, I don't want to spend too much diplomatic favor, but let's spend some. Okay, that should be fine. Let's check the outcome. Yeah, industrial zone and production both passed. Nice. Okay. So now we should work on both units and industrial zones. We will do that. So how about this one? Can we get a district in here? Yes, we can. So I'm thinking, yeah, 195, that's a little bit too much. Yeah, that's way too much. I'm not paying that much to buy a tile. What about this city? After the builder. This one could definitely use an industrial zone. Oh wait, this one already has an industrial zone. Fair enough. Our capital also has one. This city is building the Terracotta army. And this one. Yeah, we can get one here. Let's maybe finish that market first. That sounds reasonable. And kill this fella. They might pillage our campus. But whatever. I don't really care about that part all that much. I want press love. That's our main goal. Taking press love. 58 combat strength. I'm pretty sure we need a bombard for this. But that's okay, we got the catapult. Now we can upgrade it. Alright, there it is. So let's not move into its range just yet. I could pillage something. Industrial zone. Cahokia mounds, okay. Oh yeah, this guy has a promotion, nice. Battle cry. 
Okay, looks good. Let's pillage something. And we can start attacking it with crossbowmen. It's not going to be a whole lot of damage, but better than nothing for now. And it's also experience. Right, so I'm really torn about this one. It's not worth switching to land surveyors just to buy one tile. You know what, let's just buy a tile here and get that industrial zone. It's not the best spot for it, but it's the best one here. I don't really want to remove the horses. And I'm not building one on top of a hill. Especially a hill next to a mountain. Anyway, trade route. That should probably be Canada. But maybe from a different city. Like from this one. That might be a bit too far away. But we'll find out. Alright, next turn. We're done on this one. Well, might as well move in with the crossbowmen. We got several units in range already. Come on now. Why do you want me to move? Oh, we got units stacked on this tile, right. Here, happy now? He's actually trying to attack the city. How cute. We can accept this. More alliances is a good thing. That's more diplomatic favor. We can still get an alliance with Maori. I don't see why not. Might as well do it. Here. He actually wants some gold. Fine, I can give you all of six gold. This attack is definitely not going to succeed. I can tell you as much. Let's see if we can kill one guy right away. This should be enough damage. Almost. Close enough. Alright, and let's send one more guy this way. Why not? And we can pick up the promotion. And placement. Okay, now, press lab. Let's use that bombard, shall we? And maybe back up with that wounded crossbowman. Yeah, let's just back up, play it safe. And move in with a bombard. We can do a little bit of damage already. And now the city is under siege. Okay then. So hopefully this is going to be enough, but we'll see. The bombard should do decent damage. I'm just not entirely convinced one bombard will be enough. Also, we can get allied with one more city-state. How about we get allied with Kahokia, that way it will actually help us. Here. That might be a nice distraction. Kahokia has quite a few units, actually. Alright then. So, what else? Trade route. We can send it to Canada. Let's do that then. And it will go through the tunnel if we send it to Quebec City. Yeah, I like that. A road to the tunnel will be quite useful. Alright, fortify. Anything else we can do? A farm. Alright, that's that. 11 turns to finish Terracotta Army. That will give us some really high level promotions. Hopefully we'll get it. And might be a good idea to move that crossbowman into the city. Yeah, and bring the pike and shot. So, like this. And move him to the stone. Then we can attack. He moved away from the encampment, which is smart, I guess. And he did pillage the campus. That's fine, we'll repair it. But I will finish the Terracotta army first. I definitely want that. And what's going on here? Armory. Right, press lab. Nice warrior, Mali. Yeah, that wasn't a whole lot of damage, but it will have to do, I guess. Yep, it will have to do for now. This might take a few turns. It definitely will. We could get another bombard really quick. But it's not going to be that quick, I'm afraid. Yeah, a catapult in two turns and then upgrade the catapult. It's an interesting plan. It's actually not a bad one, you know. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. It's a good plan. And we need a trader somewhere. Probably in the capital. Sure. After intelligence agency. And we still got five builds. Well, I don't want to move towards these guys. For obvious reasons. Let's move away from them. 
We should be okay here. Yeah, we'll be okay. What can be labeled? Here is much production. I do have a promotion available and I would like to use it. Because otherwise I'm wasting experience. But at the same time I want to kill this guy. Here, he's dead. Now I can hit the other one. See the bombardment first, then the crossbowman. And then I can finish him off. Here, nice. Okay, this is looking pretty good. We'll get the catapult on the next turn, then we can upgrade it. So, carry on. We are taking Preslav, don't worry, it's coming. Swap this. He's targeting the crossbowman, which is a good thing. I don't want him to target the bombard. Okay. Maybe move the general. Here, with the bombard. Sounds good. As for our next research, we could get started on ballistics, but let's get square rigging, because that's required for industrialization. So that's definitely a good idea. What's next in here? Trader? Alright then. This shouldn't take that long, but we'll see about that. Hey, where do you think you're going? Okay. Maybe we should get a unit in our capital before that trader. I'm sure we can get something really quick. We could get our unique unit, but it's not that strong. 40 ranged strength. Yeah, that's kind of low at this stage of the game, to be honest. I might just get a bombard. Because I have a feeling we'll need more siege units, so let's just get a bombard in our capital. A third one definitely won't hurt. Three bombards is not exactly an amazing amount. Okay, so where do you think you're going? He wants to pillage the nighter, I think. Well, that's not going to work. Sorry, buddy. Who was going to finish him off? I can't do it with the musket man because the catapult just finished. Here, that will do. Move him and upgrade the catapult on the next turn. Just need two more nighter. Alright, we got a pikeman coming. Let's keep the pressure on. And I can hit the pikeman. 55 health. Yeah, let's hit the pikeman like so. And stay fortified. Yep. So. Oh yeah, upgrade. That's only 95 gold, might as well do it. What do we need in here? Probably an industrial zone, but that's 26 turns. How about a theater square? Or actually no, lighthouse. To get that extra trade route. And we got another governor title. So that's going to be reinforced materials on Liang. So now we don't have to worry about the volcano exploding anymore. Transform. Oh, and we got a spy. Where do we send him? To Mali, no doubt. So, this one? Yeah, sure. We won't be taking that city anytime soon, that's for sure. Might as well send him there. Here's another promotion, nice. I might take plus on movement because that's really useful. Yeah, let's take plus on movement, actually. Looking good. Hopefully we can take Preslav in the next few turns. Because I definitely want it. Let's pick up this promotion already. Because I'm wasting experience otherwise. Bring it on. Okay, that was a little bit too close. But it's totally fine. It was 100% calculated, obviously. Here's diplomatic birthday, service. But never remembers her yeah, we should pick up that new diplomatic policy, actually. I think. I still need professional army, but only for one more turn. Here, that's also siege tactics boost. Do we still need it? Not for now, no. You're dead. Yeah, I don't need any more unit upgrades, at least not yet. So we can replace professional army temporarily. Yeah, let's replace that then. 
with that new diplomatic policy. So out with that, and we'll improve trade routes to our allies. Yep, yeah, sounds good. I will still need serfdom, so I'm keeping that, and I need gold. But our income is looking much better now, plus 55 gold per turn. That's way better. But now I need to back up. He will probably start targeting the bombard soon. Which is slightly worrying, but alright. Here's the promotion. I'm slightly worried about these units here. But we should be okay? Fortification health is down to half. So a few more turns and it will be gone. It will be faster with a battering ram, I suppose, but a little bit too late for that now. Next up, humanism. We will not be earning a great artist. At least not anytime soon. Might as well just research humanism. We got four more builds. So where do we send this fella? Probably back north, actually. You know what? Let's chop this forest right here. And speed up whatever is going to be next after the bombard. Alright. Send some replacements. I think he will focus on the pike and shot now. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Here's the promotion. See, I don't actually want to use it, but I guess we can move one tile and then use it. Here, crew weapons. And then we can attack with both on the next turn. That sounds good. That will speed things up quite a bit. We only need a few turns. That should be enough. So, fortify. And yep, fortify. I could attack the cavalry and kill it, but I'd rather stay fortified. It's not like he can attack our ranged units. We blocked the way. So, yeah, the crossbowmen can stay in here. And we got four more builds. So, terrace farms. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. Well, actually, it might not be in some cases. Especially with tiles that there don't have mountains or fresh water. Anything. We might be better off with a mine. Yeah, let's at least get a mine or two. Okay, back to the siege. Let's see how much damage we can do. Should be much better now. Yeah, that's better. We only need a few more turns. Uh, back up. How about you? Oh no, hold on, we got a promotion here. So let's stay here. Oh, expert marksman, nice. Obviously I'm picking that up. And that's plus one error score. How's our error score? 26 out of 29. And we still got lots of time. I don't think we'll get Golden Age. That's going to be hard. But I can try. I guess we'll see. We can try at least. Next research. Siege tactics. That will unlock the fort. Or we could get started on industrialization. Yeah, let's get started on industrialization. I just need to switch it. And we got a great scientist. Yeah, sure, let's grab that guy. And pop him right away. Sagitation, steam power and printing. That's not too bad. So, fortified until healed. And yep, you will stay fortified. Uh, let's wait one turn and then we can chop the forest. We got, oh, a trader. You know what? Yeah, that's fine. We can probably finish the trader instantly. He's trying. Time to back up with the crossbowman. And there's the eruption. Okay, that was a lot of damage on the musket man. But we can actually take the city now. Thanks to the eruption. Heck yeah. Yeah, the city is ours now. At least, well, I think. Is it ours? I think so. It's going to be real close. Okay, now I'm not actually convinced it's safe to attack. Because look at my health. 29 health? I don't know about this. The preview is not super useful. I think it will be fine. 
Okay, screw it, let's just attack. Here, it's totally fine. There we go, and we got some boss. And the city is ours. I could liberate it, but I'd rather keep it. 130 grievances. Oh wait, keeping this opponent's final city will give all major powers 130 grievances against us. Okay, that's kind of bad, but I want this city. Interesting. Well, I guess that's because it's a city-state. I'm going to keep it, screw it. I want the city. Yeah, I'm keeping it, screw that. We are still at war. Let's see if we can peace out yet. It's probably too early for that. No, it's not. Well, in that case, I think I'm just going to peace out. Can we get some money out of him? Hmm. Probably not, no. Hmm. Yeah, I think we can peace out. I don't think I'll be going for that next city right now. We could get some tunnels through the mountain and then attack it in the future. We could also stay at war to get more experience. But we got Terracotta army coming up in three turns. Yeah, let's just peace out. We got a city, it's fine. Hmm. I got what I wanted. So, grab the city, obviously. And hmm. there it is. Here, so... We still got 20 grievances against him. Or rather, he committed 20 against us. So we are still in the positives. Yeah, we don't have any grievances with anyone else. So that was a weird tooltip. Maybe that's what would happen if we captured a city-state. If it was an actual city-state. I'm actually not 100% sure what was up with that tooltip. It was obviously not his last city, but that's what it said. I assumed that that's because it was a city-state originally, but now I'm not sure anymore. It seemed like a tooltip bug. Well, in any case, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.